What's up y'all? Thanks for stopping by the Surge T channel. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the new trailer for Eddie Murphy's film, Dolomite Is My Name. It's been a while since I've seen an Eddie Murphy movie, and this intrigues me. So let's not hesitate, and let's check out the trailer. It's your time, y'all. You love him and I love him. Put your hands together. Dolomite is my name. Hey, you know, Auntie, I was thinking about putting out a comedy record. Comedy? You've been a singer, a shake dancer? Ha! That's real hard to break in. I do whatever it takes to get in. I come up with a new character. Dolomite is my name, and fucking up motherfuckers is my game. Oh, he's bad. What'd you do to your hair? You look like a pimp. It's all pretend. I just created a character. Dolomite, <laughs> you a true. Who's my name? Oh, oh, that's a weed. That's right. Whatever it takes, I'm ready to do it. I got to be totally outrageous. Oh, shh. So what the hell? You've got a product here that you can't sell that comedy or promote. <laughs> All my life, people been telling me no. Really? Sometimes our dreams just don't come true. A man slam a door in my face. I just find another door. I want the world to know I exist. You can write. This ain't funny. And it ain't no brothers in it either. If I get up in that light with my own movie, I could be everywhere all at once. Let's bring Dolomite to the screen. The actors we hire, you're a bit doughier than them. Doughier? Hey, that's Dermot Martin. I'm offering you a role in my new motion picture. You think you could just walk up here and hire me? No. What if we let you direct? In storytelling, it's always best to write what you know. I mean, nothing to talk about my personal life. I deal with the nightlife, club owners and mobsters and lots of pimps and kung fu. Do you know karate? No, but I'm a fast learner. I can learn how to chop me a motherfucker. Yeah. Action. Dolomite, give it to me. Put your weight on it. Tell her he could be a sex machine. What planet? Oh, it looks like it looks like a lot of fun. Damn! If this thing flops, you're gonna be working for free for the rest of your life. I'm so grateful for what you did for me. Cause I never seen nobody that looks like me oh, yeah. up there on that big screen. <laughs> Was it good as shave? Well, it says uh, in select theaters and on Netflix. So <clears throat> Netflix didn't uh, have that new deal, but they're spending over 150 million on three films, something like that. It's like that movie looks like a lot of fun, man. Oh my god, dude. Eddie Murphy, man. It's like I don't know if Rudy Ray Moore, who is Do Dolomite, the character is Dolomite, and Rudy Ray Moore is the actor that Eddie is portraying in this film. I don't know if he cheesed it up like Eddie does. Eddie has that way of laughing, smiling, talking, and kind of sounds more like Eddie than it did Rudy Ray Moore. But at the same time, it's like, does it matter? It's Eddie on screen. It looks like he's having fun. You got Wesley Snipes in there. You got Craig Robinson, Keegan Michael Key. You have um, quite a number of the Snoop Dogg in there. But I'll forgive the film for that because I don't like the guy. But, uh, you know, and I don't know if uh, I think it's Melvin Van Peebles. Uh, was a director back in that time, just during the black exploitation uh, era, an era that made a lot of money for Hollywood, you know. And a lot of people don't know that, you know. A lot of the uh, black actors, like former football players and former, you name it, and they were in these films. And you know, of course, you had, uh, you know, uh, at, uh, 
Oh, Pam Greer. <laughs> and uh, it's a bunch of them. A lot of a lot of actors, a lot of actresses who I wouldn't have been cast in in movies, you know, in regular films. They were cast in these films and made a lot of money. But at, at the same time, it didn't last the era because Hollywood just moved on. I don't think it died out. It just they just moved on. But I think that if they had kept on going, it would have definitely have been a great market for Black people, African Americans to be in film. It would have definitely put them there already in the 70s, you know, and on. And of course, there's people now that complain that there's not enough representation in films nowadays, you know. Which to an extent, is that's true, to an extent. But uh, this film looks great. It looks fun. You know, it's uh, something that I would definitely go see because this is like having fun. It's just like a movie that you're just going to fall out of your chair laughing. It looks it looks great. Eddie looks like he's having fun dealing with, uh, you know, situation as uh, as Rudy Ray Moore. Um, like I said, Melvin, uh, I mean, uh, Wesley Snipes, I don't know if he's playing uh, Melvin Van Peebles. And that's the father of Mario Van Peebles. And people probably are more familiar with Mario Van Peebles. He was... Uh, you know, in New Jack City, he was in, uh, he was even in a film that he portrayed his father, who was a director. I don't know if that's who he's portraying, but he's the director in this film, you know, he's directing Dolomite films. And, you know, those of you who don't know who Dolomite is, check him out, you know, look at some of his films. Uh, if you can stomach it, listen to some of his comedy, because comedy ain't for a week of heart in the sense that it's pretty raunchy and it's pretty um like, like i said i remember that that uh album cover you know, when you see that he in, in in character and he takes his clothes off and they can, yeah, make it more raunchy and then like it shows that and i totally remember that looking at that uh, seeing that uh, album cover um but i i enjoyed those films the black exploitation flicks uh like cleopatra jones you know you had dolomite of course and they're really uh, just fun films, you know. Nothing, nothing to be taken serious, but it's just a, a way of just really employing these guys back in that era and putting them out there, you know. And let me know what you think down below. And uh, those of you who uh, stopped by, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Appreciate you uh, watching my videos. And I see the uh, subs in my. Uh, my channel going up and I appreciate that. Closing and as always, take care.